Marijuana. Yes, I did just say marijuana. Marijuana is one of the most controversial and debated over drugs out there, especially when it comes to legalization of it. For many people, marijuana can be considered a rather taboo subject, simply because it's illegal in many places throughout America. But, I mean, even I was conflicted on whether I should give a speech or not due to its stigma. Even though a select few states have opened up to legalization, there still is, and always has been, a huge controversy over the topic. But what you might like to know is that in the early 1900s, marijuana was available in almost every drugstore. So, why did it become illicit in the first place? Many of us believe that because it is illegal, there must have been some scientific evidence proving that it was extremely harmful, and they banned it for the sake of the people. But if someone were to dig a little deeper, which I did, you'll find out that this is not the case. Not at all. And in order to find the truth, we have to go all the way back to 1929, when a man by the name of Harry J. Unslinger was put in charge of the Department of Prohibition and became the head of the Bureau of Narcotics. Now remember, during this time, alcohol prohibition was big, so Harry's plate was quite full. But then alcohol prohibition ended, and Unslinger was now in charge of this huge government department with nothing to do. He started to promote something known as war files, which are basically wild exportation tales that he wrote himself. And they're primarily about black people. So here are some rather outlandish quotes from the actual files. Files state that, that marijuana is the most violent causing drug in the history of mankind. Files declare that the primary reason outlaw marijuana is its effect on degenerate races. Now here's a real kicker for you. There are 100,000 marijuana smokers in the U.S. and most are Negroes, Hispanics, Filipinos, and entertainers. Their satanic music, jazz, and swing results from marijuana usage. Take a second. So I'm pretty sure all of us can agree that these files are um, simply accusations and statements with no backed up facts or statistics, and it's chock full of racial slurs, put downs, and propaganda. So what real evidence did Harry have to convince anyone? As it turns out, during this time, he wrote to 30 leading scientists on the subject. He asked if cannabis was harmful and if there should be a ban. Twenty. Nine of them wrote back with the answer, no. But Unslinger took the one scientist who had said yes and presented him to the world. And the press loved this. So with the public now scared and manipulated, marijuana became illegal. End of story. And there was no further discussion. Now, jump forward to 89 years later, and you arrive at the present where marijuana is still illegal, despite all of the research that's been done and the health benefits found that are promoting safe ways to medicate yourself using cannabis. But, so, um, the only reason for any of this is lack of education, which pretty much applies to everything. We're the public believes whatever they're told without doing their own research. If we did the research, if we're our, we believe what we hear sometimes simply because it's easier than facing the truth. And with all the propaganda out there, it can be hard to find the real truth. We're so prone to believing what we hear. Sometimes we're so prone to, and not doing our and not asking questions. And that's the main problem. We don't ask enough questions. If we did the research ourselves and came to our own conclusions ourselves, who knows how much more we know about everything going on around us. And it all begins with simply being curious and questioning everything.